Hello. Just want to make a video of something I was thinking about you know, with uh, regards to my mother and how any t any type of sympathy I had for anybody else or even even an apology was always sort of seen as a sign of weakness or that I was too nice or that she would always just show her complete lack of sympathy for anybody. Um, you know, like this one time and when I was working as an engineer for this company and, you know, the company was kind of messed up and I'd have, uh, doing validations for different, different pieces of equipment and I had a lot of issues with my projects, not just because of things that I did, because, you know, we had, we had a lot of equipment issues. It was kind of a, the place was kind of ghetto, to be honest with you, so we had a lot of equipment issues, so... This one guy was validating this piece of equipment, and he was one of the other engineers, he was doing engineering runs, and after a whole day of doing this run, he thought he was going to have all this data, he thought he was getting a large chunk of his project done, and turned out there was a problem with the machine the whole time, so the entire run was just junk, and it was like a total wasted day, and... It was something like some fluid wasn't going through some tube because the tube was disconnected and he didn't realize it. And he he got really upset. He was like, oh, God, a whole day is gone. And, you know, why me? You know, and I I felt bad for him because stuff like that had happened to me in the past where my projects got, got fucked up. So I, yeah, I felt bad for him. You know, he was a nice guy and I could tell he was really devastated. And, you know, so... I was talking to my mom about it at dinner when I, this was when I still lived there, this was years ago, and I said, yeah, I felt, I felt really bad that happened to him. And she was like, oh, please don't feel bad for him. He wouldn't give a shit if it happened to you. I'm like, seriously? Because, first of all, she doesn't need, it's like, on one hand, she's like, it's almost like I'm an idiot for having sympathy because nobody else gives a shit about me. So that. That's just projection on her part. I mean, a, a, a video a while back uh, that Ollie Matthews did for me, he was saying how the narcissist thinks that everybody sees you as the piece of shit that they do. You know, because, you know, he's like, oh, so you're such a piece of shit, Lisa. And that's exactly what it is. Like, so she thinks that no one would have sympathy for me if it happened to me because everyone else sees me as a piece of shit. So that's, the, I see that now, that that was pure projection. Like, well, he doesn't give a shit about you. But honestly, you know, he... He was a nice guy, you know, he would have, he would have felt bad if it happened, because it did happen to me in the past, you know, which is, well, that's another thing, like, I sympathized with him because similar things in the past there had happened to me, so I know what it feels like for that, something that frustrating to happen. So that's why I sympathize with him, because I've been there, but my mother's, in, my mother would be more like, well... It happened to me, so you, so he deserves it too. He deserves it. Like if I had to go through it, he should too. That's that's like my mother's philosophy, and I notice that she's like that with a lot of things. Like if she has to go, something bad happens to her, it should happen to them too, to some to other people too. So I guess that's kind of <laughs> where we differ, and that that's like hallmark of a narcissist. So if if I can't get it, you can't. Not feeling, you know, not feeling bad for other people that were in the same position, but. Ha, it happened to me, so I have no sympathy for you. That's that's really kind of like what her vantage point or what her philosophy is. And sometimes I would say, too, we'd be talking about somebody and I'd say, well, something happened to them. or so, And I'd say, well, oh, I feel bad for her. And my mom would say something like, oh, she's fine. She has a husband. You know, coming from the, the place where my mom didn't have a husband because she was in such a victim mentality over that, over being a single mom. So it's like if somebody has a husband, they deserve, and she because she doesn't, they deserve anything else bad happening to them. Like that that's how sick it is. Like that's her mentality. Or something like, you know, someone gets a cancer diagnosis or something. It's like, oh, that's really horrible. She's like, oh, they can deal with it. They have money. You know, like, something... Obviously, she, she begrudges people for having things that she doesn't. So then it's like, something else bad happens to them. It's like, they deserve it. Or, you know... It's like, it's like a... An eye for an eye, or like an equal tree. Like, it, it's it's totally sick. Just no... No sympathy, no compassion for anybody. 
And if you do show that you're you have sympathy for somebody, or if if you even if you tell her you apologized, it's like she's she's attacking you right away. Like you have no like she would attack me like I had no spine because I felt bad. I feel bad if something bad happens to somebody. She's like, oh, they don't give a shit about you, or oh, he can deal with it. He has money. I. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. This is all stuff that she's actually said. So, you know, and one time she told me I was too generous because I donated $20, which is not a lot of money. There there was a another man that used to work with me who, um, he was like a middle-aged guy in his 40s and he, he left work early one day because he wasn't feeling well and never came back he had uh he had died of a heart attack and he had a son that was just st starting college finished high school and was going into college the next year so the company decided to take up a collection for this for this boy you know for his college so i didn't have a lot of time but i figured out 20 bucks is the least i could do it's it's absolutely awful what happened to him you know his father just drops dead in the warehouse you know it's, it's absolutely all so I'm, I am gonna donate because this you know this kid deserves something and I told my mom I was giving 20 bucks and she tells me I'm too generous and this is after I told her what happened that the guy had just died and then I'm made to feel like I'm in the wrong like I'm weak somehow or I'm a doormat because I donated money to a kid that lost his father I swear to like it's almost weird me repeating this. It almost sounds like I'm making this up, but I'm not. Because it's just, it's just so, it's, it seems like such a stretch and so, so far-fetched. But th these are all things that have come directly from her mouth. So, I figured I was thinking about it, so I just get that out there. <laughs> and, uh, um, I'm sure you guys have some similar examples of this, but this... This seems to, now that I've just heard myself say it back, I think my mother is pretty extreme with this and just her utter lack of sympathy for anybody and just kind of like everything is from a revenge mentality or if you have this, you shouldn't have that, that kind of sick thinking. So I guess that's a, it's a video to uh, sort of start the week and I'll see you soon.